Okay, we're gonna break up into two teams. Um, one team's gonna stay here, the other team's gonna work on the site. All right, so let's get going. I'm a ship's fitter over in SOC uh, 70, and uh, I've been a member of the Squamish Environment Society uh, for a few decades. You know, we're always involved in different types of projects, and with the uh, help of C-SPAN, a bunch of us got together today, and we put the structure up for the uh, Western Purple Martins, which uh, actually should be nesting like any like today. So it's possible as we're standing here, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, one of them come over and check it out. We were told last year the creosote pilings that, that our existing houses were on, that they were going to remove them. It was a bit of a panic. We didn't have any alternatives to put them. We had to come up with a plan. I was actually at the, uh, the coffee shop at work and uh, talking to Mark, uh, who's with the environment team about it. And uh, Mark said, hey, you know, why don't you approach C-SPAN? So I did, and uh, yeah, C-SPAN was great. They were very receptive. We managed to source some materials out in the yard and the shortfall was uh, taken up by a small bit of funding. Thank you very much, C-SPAN. Then the clock, the clock was running because the structure needed to be designed, the permits needed to be uh, taken care of, and it needed to be put up within seven weeks. Uh, I've been working pretty much every day at home on this structure, uh, prefabbing it, uh, trying to make sure everything works when you get it out to the field. And Aaron Moody Nelson uh, with the Squamish Nation, he did the design work there. It's three dragonflies and there's a Coast Salish canoe on either side on the front. And you know, it, it all came together. In the early 80s, I think uh, they were down to two nesting pairs in BC. They come up from South America they migrate in the summertime and then they nest up in this area, which is really quite a unique area for that particular species of bird. So the nesting box program was brought in. They uh, build these nest boxes for them, which the bird is completely dependent on because all the old snags, the old, old growth forest, you know, that's all been logged away. So they don't have the opportunity to nest in those, right? So the replacement for that is the nest boxes. And without the nest boxes, there's, there's no Western Purple Martins, bottom line. We're finally at the day where, you know, got a bunch of volunteers together, a few of the guys from work, some people from our uh, society, my neighbors. It, it didn't matter who it is that I approached about the project. They were so keen and so helpful. Of, you know, if this project uh, demonstrated anything to me was, you know, how helpful uh, C-SPAN has been with the project, my neighbors and the public, everybody's been just so supportive of it, right? So fantastic to see everybody uh, uh, coming together and cooperating like that. I just want to send a big thank you to the Squamish Nation for allowing us uh, uh, to install it on their lands and to C-SPAN for, for helping out with funding. <laughs>